Christians all across Russia unite in prayer for the Jewish people and the love for God and Israel inspires two Germans to volunteer in Haifa. This is Alia News. Last month, thousands of Christians in Russia joined in a marathon. Though not a marathon in the traditional sense, it certainly required endurance and commitment nonetheless as they spent countless hours preparing for this special event. The third all-Russian prayer marathon was broadcast on the 27th of January. More and more churches decide to participate in the event each year and this year over 400 Christian congregations took part in the services. In addition, the event was also a great educational opportunity as more people learned about the role of Israel and the Jewish people in God's word and in modern history. The services focused on the commemoration of the 6 million Jewish victims of the Holocaust and prayer for Aliyah the return of the Jewish people to Israel. The restoration of the Jewish state of Israel was one of the greatest events of the 20th century and its importance needs to be taught in the church. A correct understanding of God's love for the Jewish people and his plans for them is fundamental in avoiding a wrong theology and anti-Semitism within the church. We want to remember and pass on to the next generation the news of this tragedy that took place. We bless the people of Israel and understand that they are the chosen people of our Lord Blessings to all Jews and the people of Israel worldwide. Following the prayer marathon, the annual dinner organized by the President of the Russian Jewish Congress took place, offering a time to reflect on the marathon and talk about the Christian-Jewish dialogue in Russia. Pastors from different congregations and representatives from the German, Lithuanian and Israeli embassies joined the event. Praise the Lord for this unique opportunity for thousands of Christians to stand together remembering the Holocaust and working together for the Jewish return to Israel. On the 1st of July 2019, Ebenezer opened the Haifa House for Elim, a place for new immigrants to stay when they make Aliyah. The house comprises nine bedrooms for Elim, two kitchens, five bathrooms and a rooftop terrace spread over three floors. The house is run by Marcus and Rachel who support the Olim after they arrive and help them settle in Israel and they are supported by international volunteers. Jeremy Smith recently visited the Haifa house to interview two volunteers from Germany. So we're at Haifa house in Haifa and I'm with Tanya and Steffi from Germany and I've been waiting a long time to do this interview because I wanted to hear how did you get into Israel? Uh, will you share with us where you came from, why you're here, uh, how was it traveling and what it's like to be here? Mm -hmm. So that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a kind of a long story. We tried to come here for five times last year and then we uh, tried uh, to come in February this year for three months to, to make uh, as volunt volunteers, mm -hmm. um, but it was also not possible. We really prayed that uh, mm. Israel will open the border uh, mm -hmm until November so that we can come. Mm -hmm. Only three days before uh, the 1st of November it was uh, assured that Israel will open from November 1st um, and so we, we booked the flights. Mm -hmm. What do you do back home? What is your profession? Do you? um, I work as a project manager in a, a company who does cross-media cross projects, so IT um, projects and uh, printing projects. I'm a nurse in intensive care unit. So you had the desire to come to Israel for a long time? You felt like it was right to come or...? A main part of this is that we are close friends to Rachel and Marcus and we also, we know them for many years. Did you mention you have a ministry as well yeah. as work? So what, yes. what's the ministry that you do? Mm -hmm. um, we, we have a prayer house in Germany um, where we just do a lot of prayer with uh, other people too. And we also did a house church ministry and uh, counseling. So with our ministry, we, we support them, Marcus and Rahel too, um, mm -hmm. uh, on financial, fin mm -hmm. on a regular monthly basis. Mm -hmm. um, and um, what I do is uh, I make their um, family newsletters, the layout and the, the mailing and mm -hmm. so on. Yeah. So your heart is for Israel? 
Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has it yes. always been that way? Or? There was a conference in Switzerland which we visited because we were interested in w what's the thing with the Jews and yes. So and, and then we learned a lot at the conference about the the coming home of the Jews, about our Christian ro being rooted in the Jewish and that was really wonderful and, and eye-opening, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so since then we've been always, yes, telling other people and praying a lot for Israel. So should we look around and see what you've done? What yes, you yes. <laughs> okay, so we have to renovate this room a little bit for a special happening they had here. Mm -hmm. um, so we put on these um, shelves and crowns and um, these, um, how do you say? The yes, canopy. Canopy, yes. yeah. <laughs> Lights and, and we painted a little uh, the walls. They were not painted yet, and so we just made it a little bit nicer. <laughs> so this is what we have been doing for quite a few days, <laughs> and two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, renovating these uh, shutters here, filling holes, and then painting them. And there are still lots of them to do. <laughs> yeah. This house has so many windows, so this will um, be a job to be done for this for several months, I think. I think. Yes. <laughs> what I did is I helped them with computers uh, setting up and with a presentation for the, the prayer meeting you had. So all kind of stuff that has to be done, we, we help as we can. <laughs> Today we have heard about thousands of people whose desire it was and is to pray for and to bless Israel. The volunteers Steffi and Tanya have had to jump through hoops to get to Haifa. And despite all the cancellations and confusion, they are now joyfully serving the Lord in the Haifa house. For Christian believers, prayer and practical help should go hand in hand, and they can be a visual sign that we believe in the restoration of Israel as God has promised. We read in Psalm 122, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest reports of Worldwide Aliyah.